And I just want to take a little recording. Hopefully it'll come out here. Uh, I'm going to use my EMF detector. Be able to see it here. I'm going to turn it on. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to degauss it. I'm going to put it back to zero. It wants to calibrate. Okay. I'm going to degauss it again. We'll set it back down to zero. So I have a German helmet up here. And you'll notice when I put it by the German helmet, there it is. It's almost at 44, which is almost ma actually this is in the 60s. So it's almost maxing this thing out. Let me see if I can get it clear. So I'm gonna move it away, moving it away from the It's real hard to see. Now it's down to like three or four. Let's see if I can move it and you'll see the this is the helmet it is over there. And I have the boxes for my cats. This is Cookie. And you'll see it's, it's about a seven. And it does move a lot. Now I'm gonna put it near Jazz. And it's gonna spike. This is what's been doing all night. It's going to spike up into the 20s. You can kind of see it. There's Jazz. It's Jazz's box. I'll move it back over to Cookie. And you'll notice it'll go right back down to 5. And if I move it back over to Jazz, which is right next to it, it's going to go right... back up to the higher numbers so once again move the gals I'm gonna put it by the helmet again once again you see the helmet is gonna and there's no extra electrical back here and you'll see there's the Nazi helmet I'll move it away. There's a picture of Richard and Laurie from the high school prom. It's only at four. And I'm going to go back over to where Cookie's ashes are. And I'll stay at two or four. And then I'm going to move it over to where Jazz is. Oh, and now it's actually come down for jazz. I was thinking for, but you can see the differences.